you guys, welcome, Mr. Fit Geek here. Thanks for tuning into this video. Today, I wanted to do a review on the Notability app. So some of you may have seen already that I did a kind of first impressions when I got hold of the Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. But actually, all I've come to do is, uh, is really utilize the Notability app and it's my note taking app now uh, that I use for absolutely everything. So here is my review of Notability and my demo so you can get a closer look at some of the features uh, and indeed the benefits that I find of using Notability. So when you open Notability, you are faced with the main sort of open screen here and as you can see on the left hand side is where I have different folders for different pieces of work that I am currently working on. Now what you're able to do is actually create folders and then subfolders and then notes within each of those and really easy so you just simply click on the plus icon at the top there and then you create your divider. So let's create a divider and we'll call it test. Great. And then what we do under that then, we then create a subject. So then let's call this reviews. So we've created our subject there. Then when we highlight our subject, what it does, it opens the pane here on the right hand side, which then gives us access to actually then creating the notes themselves. You see at the option, you see at the top here, you've got three options. You've got the magnifying glass, which is then where you can actually search for anything in your notes. This works really only when you type your notes out. So we can actually um, search for the, 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 the typed notes opposed to the handwritten notes. Um, then you've got your import. Now this is actually where this interface is with popular um, sharing sites and cloud sites such as Dropbox, Google Drive, Box and then WebDAV as well. Um, I use this with Dropbox. Um, I use it an awful lot with my work. I also use it for my studies as well as I actually study away from work. And um, it's, it's, it's a fantastic piece of kit. Then of course you've got where you actually do create your notes. So let's click into it here and actually look at doing some note creation. So you'll see at the top then, you've got your various options. You've got your text, you've got your pencil, you have your highlighter, your eraser, uh, oh, your eraser, your uh, scissors icon, which is like copy, paste, cut, highlight, uh, this kind of stuff. And then your hand icon where you can use it to adjust um, how you scroll up and down. You then got, so you can actually use this to create um, recorded notes. It's actually recording it as we speak, so let's turn this off. Then you've got the plus symbol here. Now on your plus symbol is where actually you can insert any kind of media into the Notability um, interface. So any of your notes, if you want to insert a photo, for example, you can go to your photos. You are able to simply select what you want. And using your finger, you can drag the image around wherever you want to place it, you can you can crop it, you can make it bigger, make it smaller, um, you can turn it around, um, if you actually click on the edit section here, you can actually then um, make notes directly onto the, um, the, the image itself, so in case you had like a straight line and you wanted to create some kind of um, arrow pointing somewhere, or if you wanted to actually draw, you can go and then you can also actually use the crop option and so in the actual edit function you can um, edit any kind of image that you've imported as you can see here this is just some diagram that i've done for test purposes so you can crop it right in here and if we've done that then perfect boom we place that straight into your note and again you can place it wherever you want it to go and this basically works the same with any other kind of media you can take a photo using the uh, camera on your ipad uh, let's not worry about that. Um, this is something that I really um, do like, which is where you can actually add a web clip. So this is where you can go online, you can then search whatever you want to search for. So say it's like the Google homepage, for example, or literally search for anything, and then it will draw, it will um, screen grab the page in which you're looking at. But then actually, what it will do? Let's say we want it over here. What you'll then see is at any point you can click back on this uh, and you can actually click on the browser option and it will take you directly to that link so this is great if you're doing work and you're in you've referenced a, a web page for example and you need to you need to go back to it which is really good uh, then you've got figures so this is something here is which is where say if you're doing anything scientific or, 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 or um, mathematical 
you can actually create various um, symbols and figures and you can excuse I mean, not this is some kind of mathematical symbol <laughs> but then again you can create stuff on here and you can drag it and drop it into the note itself now on anything that you add into the note uh, whether it's on a browser an image or a figure you'll see here where you have the caption button so this is where if you need to add any kind of note you can do so onto the caption itself and uh, drop it straight in there which is great okay so and the last thing that you can add is sticky notes so you have all kinds of sticky notes here you have blank ones one with lines one with grids and ones uh, where you can type the notes because all the sticky notes are designed to be written on with your finger or a stylus or the apple pencil and then obviously the typing one is where you would actually use the keyboard to neatly type your notes so but when it actually comes to the note taking itself, so you have your several options here. So you have the first one, which is where you click on the text button. So then you can tap anywhere on the screen and then you can bring up your keyboard. And then this is where you can actually type the, 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 the text for your notes using the on screen keyboard. Then you've got your various buttons where you can um, create an indent, you can change uh, the font, you can obviously make it bigger, smaller, so on and so forth. Change your color from the color palette here. You've got bold, italics, underline, um, and then you've actually got some um, uh, presets as well. So what you can actually do is, is select your favorite font, uh, favorite color, favorite size, so on and so forth, and then you're actually able to kind of um, preset it into these um, favorites that are really really good and the last thing here to note for your text options is of course where you can actually do your bullets so you can have your numbered bullets your uh, normal bullets or then like your your, your dashes and your, your text indents that are on there when you're using your keyboard option now I actually use um, all of my note-taking I use the Apple pencil and I literally use it like it is a pen and pad so where at the top here you have the tool symbol this is where you can select your paper so you can choose anything from a kind of a normal whitish color you've got yellow you've got purple green spots you know dark gray fabric looking all kinds of types here let's just choose a standard white one you can either get the plain paper or you can choose various types of lined paper so quite thick lines um, and obviously you can go right down to a really fine line so for the purpose of this I want to show you how fine you can write with the Apple Pencil I'm going to choose uh, this lined paper and then you have all your different grids that you can use as well but let's go to this fine lined paper here then let us click on the grab this let's click on the pencil icon so here you can choose you can either choose the thickness of your your pen or pencil um, so it's the same thickness throughout or you can choose one that's slightly thicker and then goes thinner and as you see here you've got all your different sizes of your thickness of your nib so we're going to go for one that's let's go for the fourth one along there so relatively thin you have all your different colors as well that you can choose from oops we want the black one i think this will stand out best so let's choose black so i'm gonna have a go at, um let's have a go at writing some notes here for you so you can see okay so so actually this is quite um thick but what you can see is that this is a very fine um fine line so let's actually drop this down a touch here there you go so you can see a little bit thinner now what i love about this and this is why this only works on the ipad pro and i'm writing this with the apple pencil is that it has the palm rejection on it now notability as an app has a palm rejection already built into it so if you're using this on an ipad uh, two, three, the unofficial three, uh, or a four, or an air, then it will work with a stylus, um, a normal stylus, but the iPad Pro, um, either the large iPad Pro or the iPad Pro 9.7 inch, already has it obviously to work with the Apple Pencil, so it works just so much better on this. So I'm literally, as I'm, as I'm writing this, I am resting my hand completely onto the, onto the iPad. 
as I said, I'm literally using it like I'm writing on a um, on a pad. Okay, so that's how you write with the, and this gives you the indication. Let's get the, the finest one on here as well, so you can see exactly how thin this can go and how fine your writing can be. Apologies for the state of my writing. Okay, then the next option along is your highlighter. So again, like with the pen, you've got different um, sizes of your highlighter and obviously different colors as well. So let's go for a nice green one. And then if we want to highlight anything on the text, we can we can do so. And again, you know, use the, use the Apple Pencil and it gives you that real control as to what you're writing. Then next one along, we have the eraser. So again, let's just get rid of all this good stuff that's on here da, 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 da. and then it's gone and then we have probably my favorite thing which is the scissor icon so this is where we can then select um, we're able to select content and actually cut it or do other editing with it so let's say I want to take the select this and I want to take the I'm Jamie part and I want to put it somewhere else in the note so I can draw a line around it again using the pencil I can then choose to cut it I want it to go over here so I'm pasting it there and then the other really great thing with this as well is that where you can highlight this and I see where it says style when you select your style in case you thought actually I don't want it to be like that I want it to be a touch thicker and a different color and you can then edit it um, right there and then um, into a different style as well so really great if you were making some notes and you thought oh gosh I didn't want it to be that color I didn't want it to be that thickness I needed it to be this one you can go into it and then you're able to to edit it there um, so I, I've been using these absolutely loads where you just want to get rid of stuff um, or it could just be that you want to put, put the same thing and you just want to paste it in several places so and then you want to then go da -da -da, draw some notes to it draw some arrows across it's the same thing whatever you want to do and draw it on here so it's really um, it's really flexible and really color fully functioning and then the other thing uh, just to note on the page itself is you'll see on the top right hand corner here is where you've got your page icon so as you go down through your notebook and you're creating more and more pages this is a quick way in which you can you can tab from page to page if you have several pages okay then once you've done your note i save them all in my note, note notability it saves automatically but if you want to share you've got your share icon at the top here so you can share it via all these manners here so you can you can select to send it via email and you can send it via a pdf format or you can choose to do it as an rtf document or a note document which is the notability native format notability is on the mac for example so you can share it with mac users and they can see everything that you've done on your ipad and then make the same adjustment um, on the mac version albeit without the apple pencil then you've got your Dropbox, your Google Drive, you can share it by Twitter, and all these other options that are available here. And if you click on your share option, again, this goes to where you can select um, what exactly you want to want to share. Again, for example, you might not want to share your whole page range. You might only want to select uh, one or two or three or four, or however many pages in the note in which you're wanting to share. So yeah, that is um, that is notability. So that's my uh, that's my my look at notability. Um, as I said, I think it is brilliant. Um, it works like a dream. It really, really, really does. And using the Apple Pencil, I think is fantastic. And there's no comparison between using an Apple Pencil and a stylus. This thing is a hundred times better. So as a working um, iPad, and as a tool to use the Pencil Notability and the iPad Pro together, particularly the iPad Pro at this size, work brilliantly together. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Um, I hope I've given you a little bit more detail about Notability and some of the functions here. And of course, any comments, drop them in the box below. Uh, do stick it a like if you wish to and uh, more videos coming up soon so for now mr fit geek check in out thanks very much cheers